Medical misinformation is everywhere. Dr. Mitch is here for straight talk and to give you the truth. It all seems to have started with an Ansel Keys. And what he suggested more than 50 years ago was basically that cholesterol causes heart disease. And we hear about the good and the bad cholesterol, but in science, it doesn't seem to hold up if you really understand the science and the physics. A coronary artery disease plaque is typical size of about three millimeters in diameter. But if you look at the LDL molecule, it's 20 nanometers. Now a nanometer is one millionth of a meter to remind you. So to fill a three millimeter plaque, you would need of LDL, are you ready for this? 3.5 quadrillion LDL particles, meaning 250,000 every day for 30 to 40 years, which is typically how long it takes to grow. LDL has a lot of good things, by the way, before we make it such a bad thing, and it's impossible for it to cause a plaque. Basically, it delivers cholesterol in the cells. It allows the steroids to be synthesized. And guess what, too? It creates vitamin K, which, of course, inhibits calcium formation. Did you know that vitamin D is carried by LDL? And LDL-lowering medications actually stimulate arthrosclerosis. Check out Okiyama, Nakazato. They're clearly not paid by anyone it's worth listening to. But here's an interesting fact. Humans are virtually the only species that develop coronary vascular disease. Even our closest ally, the chimpanzee, is pretty much free of coronary vascular disease. And chimpanzees have much higher total cholesterol and LDL than humans. And guess what? They only eat plant diet, which by the way, increases the LDL. And their heart attacks are never from plaque. Now, in our next version, we're going to take a look at some of the studies that clearly have shown that the higher the cholesterol, actually the longer you live. I'm Dr. Mitchgen. Go to Dr. Mitchgen, D-R-M-I-T-C-H-G-H-E-N.com for more information. Thanks for watching.